nation that is unsettled and afraid. This is not who we are, this is not who we want to be, and this is not who we will ever be. Yesterday afternoon, innocent children were attacked outside the Gael Kaloshta, where in Dublin city centre. It was a horrifying act of violence, and our thoughts are with the injured children, their heroic care assistant who threw herself in harm's way to protect them, and with all those who risked their lives to save lives. They're real Irish heroes, whatever their nationality, Irish, British and Italian. Our thoughts are also with the doctors and nurses in our city who are trying to save the lives of those who are injured. Many of them come from abroad. And our thoughts and prayers are with the nation united in shock. Yesterday evening, some people decided that the best way to respond to this terrible attack was to take to the streets of Dublin and try to terrify, intimidate, loot and destroy. Their first reaction to a five-year-old child being stabbed was to burn our city, attack its businesses and assault our Gardaí. As a result of their actions, buses and trams were set on fire, innocent passers-by were intimidated and pregnant women in Rotunda Hospital were made feel unsafe and in danger. These people claim to be defending Irish citizens, yet they put in danger the newest and most vulnerable and most innocent people. Those involved brought shame on Dublin, brought shame on Ireland, and brought shame on their families and themselves. These criminals did not do what they did because they love Ireland. They did not do what they did because they wanted to protect Irish people. They did not do it out of any sense of patriotism, however warped. They did so because they're filled with hate. They love violence, they love chaos, and they love causing pain to others. Looting a shop was more important to them than protecting the lives of our children, and they disrupted a guard investigation that was underway. The Guardi gained control of our streets last night within a few hours, and I want to thank them for that and for the risks that the date took. I want to pay tribute to our Guardi, particularly those who answered the call from all over the country who came to Dublin within a few hours. As a country, we need to reclaim Ireland. We need to take it away from the cowards, cowards who hide behind masks and try to terrify us with their violence. We need to reclaim Ireland from the unscrupulous who prey on the fears of those easily led into darkness. And we need to reclaim Ireland from the criminals who seek any excuse to unleash horror on our streets. This morning as Taoiseach, I promise we will use the full resources of the law, the full machinery of the state, to punish those involved in yesterday's grotesque events. And we'll put in place measures to ensure that any repeat attempts will meet the full measure of the law. I spoke with the Minister for Justice and the Garda Commissioner last night and met the Garda Commissioner this morning. We have sufficient Gardaí and there are more in training. We have sufficient equipment and there is more on the way. We have strong laws and the Garda Commissioner is free to use the Public Order Act over the weekend as is required. We will pass new laws in the coming weeks to enable the Gardaí to make better use of the CCT evidence they collected yesterday. And also we will modernise our laws against incitement to hatred and hatred in general and that is more required than ever was the case before, and we will do that in weeks as well. To all those cowardly champions of Ireland who took to the streets of Dublin last night, let me say one thing. Ask your sisters, ask your friends, ask everyone you know what they fear most on our streets. They're afraid of you, afraid of your anger and your rage, afraid of your violence, your hate, and how you blame others for your problems. As a government, we will be relentless in protecting our citizens and defending our people. The Guardi will be on the streets in large numbers and will do whatever it takes to fight back waves of ignorance and criminality. The Minister for Justice will coordinate with the Commissioner to ensure we never witness such terrible scenes as the 23rd of November 2023 ever again. Being Irish means more than saluting the tricolour beating your chest and pointing to where you were born. It means living up to the ideals represented by our flag. It means being true to our own history, and it means acting with compassion for others. 
And today I call on us all to remember who we really are, because we're better than this. And it's time we came together and reminded others who claim to speak for us about what our country really stands for. Thank you. Taoiseach, do you have confidence in the Garda Commissioner following the events of last night? Were the Garda adequately prepared? Uh, can you give us an update on the condition of the children um, involved in that stabbing attack yesterday? Uh, and then separately, just in relation to today's uh, conference, uh, what is the focus of it for you? Yeah, we have, um, I, I have, I have total confidence in Commissioner Harris and I have total confidence in the Garda. Uh, they had an extremely difficult job to do last night and they did it. Uh, they contained uh, the riot. Um, they brought the city back under control within a matter of hours, and Gardaí travelled from all over the country. A call was put out to Gardaí who have riot training uh, to come in from all over the country. Uh, as Gardaí fighting back these thugs got tired um, or got injured, uh, they had other guards behind them to replace them and to fill their shoes. And I think, obviously, we'll have to do a review as, as, as to what happened yesterday and all of the events leading up to us. But certainly over the next couple of days and couple of weeks, we need to be 100% behind the Gardaí. Uh, there should be no criticism of the Gardaí, only support, total support for the Gardaí and the Commissioner. Okay. Uh, so sorry, so in relation to, 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 the, to the injuries, um, we, we, we have some details, as you know, five, five were injured, uh, two in a critical condition uh, still, uh, both the uh, five-year-old girl who was stabbed in the chest and also um, the care assistant who uh, shielded um, who used her body as a shield to, uh, to prevent other children from being, being injured. Um, so that they're, they're both, both in a critical condition. Um, and um, um, the person who carried out this attack was, 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 attempt, it was intent on murder. Uh, that is clear. Um, we don't know his motivations. Um, the Gardaí have identified his dwelling, uh, have his computer, have his phone, would be able to uh, assess that in the coming days. Um, so I don't want to speculate on motivations at this stage, but absolutely nothing is ruled out uh, in, in that regard. I, I really want to thank the uh, people on the street who intervened. Um, it, it's hard to believe that this could have been worse, but this could have been worse had they not done so. And let's not forget that those, those who intervened um, were, weren't just from Ireland, they were from other countries as well. Um, I suppose just to follow on from that, you said you're having conversations with Garda Commissioner Drew Harris. What did you say to him in those conversations? Were you satisfied with the policing response yesterday? You're saying there should be no criticism of the Garda. I mean, obviously, you know, we saw trams, buses being set on fire, um, shops being broken into. Are you satisfied with the policing response? And also, do you have confidence in your own Justice Minister, Helen McEntee? Yes, I do. Um... Minister McEntee and I and, and the Garda Commissioner um, were in contact uh, over the course of yesterday evening. Uh, we had to end the events here in the castle early for obvious reasons. Um, decisions were, were made to prioritise the security response. Um, what, I know people have asked the question about having a cabinet meeting. It wouldn't have been appropriate to use Garda resources last night to be protecting a cabinet meeting and, and all of us. Uh, so all the resources were dedicated to um, bringing uh, the violence under control. Uh, and I was in contact with the Thomas and Mr Ryan, um, Mr McEntee and the Guard Commissioner throughout the course of the evening. Um, and everything last night was about bringing the situation under control, uh, containing the violence to a number of streets, uh, and then bringing the city under control. And it was under control by midnight. Uh, this morning has been different. Uh, this morning is about um, the clean-up uh, and uh, the response going forward. Uh, there were over 30 arrests, uh, many of them will be in court uh, this morning, um, but obviously uh, more work is going to need to be done uh, over the next couple of days, both in, in relation to the uh, original attack and then also the uh, follow-on violence that, that occurred. But what are you saying to Drew Harris and are you happy with the policing response? Yeah, look, I, I am happy with the policing response. Um, uh, we haven't had a riot of this nature or this kind of violence in our streets uh, in decades. And I think in the circumstances, uh, the Guardi responded promptly and responded quickly. Uh, roughly 500 people, we believe, were involved in these events. Um, within the space of uh, an hour, an hour and a half, there were 400 uh, Guardi on the streets uh, with riot gear and equipment. Uh, they responded extremely quickly. 
um, and were able to contain it uh, to a small part of the north inner city and then bring it under control before midnight. Um, we will, of course, uh, carry out a full review of the events and find out what can be done better. Um, but I don't want there to be any ambiguity about this. Um, the people who caused this and who are to blame for this are those who engaged in the violence and rioting. It's the Gardaí that brought it under control, and we have to support them 100 per cent, and I do. Taoiseach, you mentioned in your opening statement that uh, the Commissioner can use the Public Order Act over the weekend. Are there concerns that there could be further incidents this weekend in Dublin? Uh, we're, we're operating on the basis that there could be. Um, there are protests being organised uh, online at the moment. Um, uh, in a similar to way as other protests have been, have been um, uh, organised online. Uh, so uh, the Guard Commissioner and the Guardi are, are operating on the basis that there could be a recurrence of these events uh, over the course of the weekend or into the future. Um, we have very strong legislation, uh, both in the Public Order Act and the Offences Against the State Act. Um, the Commissioner has uh, the power under the Public Order Act uh, to prescribe or limit um, manifestations or protests as needed, uh, and he will use those powers, but only if they're needed. Um, we will also, we are also bringing through legislation at the moment uh, around the use of CCTV. Uh, the Guardi collected a huge amount of CCTV evidence last night. We have a lot of CCTV in the city centre, uh, and it's important that we're able to use modern technologies to go through that and go through it quickly. Uh, so we're going to make sure that we make those changes to our laws uh, in the next couple of weeks to allow the Guardi uh, to use that evidence and go through that evidence uh, and identify the people who are involved in these actions, and we are going to get them. Uh, in addition to that, I think it's now very obvious to anyone who might have doubted it, um, that our incitement hatred legislation is just not up to date. It's not up to date for the social media age, uh, and we need that legislation through, and we need it through within a matter of weeks, um, because it's not just the platforms who have a responsibility here, and they do. Uh, there's also the individuals uh, who post messages and images online uh, that stir up hatred and violence, uh, and we need to be able to use laws to go after them individually as well.